In this video, we'll be asking pro manga artist Nao Yazawa from how she went from copying the drawings of popular manga artists to being able to publish her own original manga. This whole journey actually took her nine years in the making. How's that for inspiration? If you're new to this channel, our mission is to actually help beginner anime and manga artists from feeling stuck and frustrated to becoming more confident and fulfilled in their artworks. If you resonate with this mission, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. Let's first get to know now Yazawa. Yazawa Sensei is a professional manga artist in Japan. She has published a ton of manga titles under her name. Her most famous work is the shoujo manga Wedding Peach. Manga started out in Japan, but eventually became popular to the point that it was published worldwide. It was even turned into an anime. How cool is that? FYI, Yazawa Sensei is actually one of the mentors in our anime and manga character drawing course. She has worked with our students to help them build strong drawing foundations, learn different manga drawing techniques, and also create their own original manga characters. If you want to work with the Yazawa Sensei and feel more confident in your art, then we invite you to apply to our anime and manga character drawing course. You'll get to work with pro Japanese manga artists online. You can get personalized feedback from them through live Zoom sessions every week. Ready to fast track your anime art journey? We'll put the link in the description where you can apply. Now that you know a bit more about Yazawa Sensei, let's hear how she got started with her mangaka career. Yazawa Sensei, you've been in the industry for so long, right? Um, do you do you still remember when and how you fell in love with anime and manga drawing? Yeah, I hardly remembering when I found my no, like uh, without knowing, I started to draw. And but when you say define as a creative manga, if it's kind of more it, strictly why I mean so it's in a panel mm -hmm. with a story mm -hmm. and using the pen and the ink and mm -hmm. finish, I mean kind of the one shot. Mm -hmm. Was hours fourteen years. Mm -hmm. It happened to I got a chance to get the how to draw manga book. Before that I have no idea on how to draw manga. So I just copy the other manga artist is a drawing or without no idea, no grand plan, no plot, no storyboard. Just mm -hmm. draw the panel and the dialogue on this uh, uh, school notebook. That was oh. like that one. But since kind of the book in instruct is a composing process, it's going to open my eyes because mm -hmm. I had no idea that the manga artist construction is a calculation. You started when you were 14, that's amazing. It's really interesting to hear that you yourself, when you started, you actually started out by just copying. This is actually something that a lot of beginners start off with, right? Just like copying, you don't really understand what you're doing, but like you said, you actually like got like a how to draw manga book and then that's when you understood more about like how to write plots and how to make it better. Oh, amazing story. You started reading your first manga when you were 14. How did you start this off as a professional career? And it is explained the Japan system. Japan system with many people apply the Luki competition. Mm. So like uh, almost all publishers held the Luki competition. There's kind of twice a year or a little more, more uh, often. And then as uh, many people apply the competition and the winner is going to work appear on a magazine that meaning get debut. I've started to apply look at competition since I'm high school student as a mm. 16 or 17 years old. Mm. Then I can keep going but then you know like uh, just a failure, failure and a failure and a failure. But then I went to university a uh, fourth year, the last year of the university and you need to decide your career in the mm -hmm. future. It's yeah, get a job yeah. or keep applying the rookie competition with a part-time job or something like this one. Then mm -hmm. I decided to bring my work to publisher. 
Mm-hmm. And there is another way that you can visit the publisher if you're living in the Tokyo area because、mm-hmm. in Japan, almost all publishers are located in Tokyo.、Mm-hmm. So, and so, like, the call and the appointment, and you can bring your work, then the editor g i v e you criticize. And if you are lucky, Is the editor、uh, g i v e you more detailed ad- advice or he o f f e r i t you this before finish? I mean, this、mm-hmm. storyboard. When you finish storyboard, I can criticize your storyboard. I can check your storyboard and you can bring it for me. I got something that chance. I visited the publisher the first time. I was really, really nervous. Mm-hmm. I really hate to do this because I knew my work is not enough.、Mm-hmm. That's the reason I couldn't win. I didn't、mm-hmm. win this、uh, competition. But anyway, there is、uh, no choice. And I was lucky, and this、uh, editor gave me the advice, and he、uh, advised me that I can bring my storyboard. Then I continue. I wrote my storyboard, and the editor criticized it, and you can correct this one, you can change this one, or something like this one. And then I bring this、uh, second draft. Second draft and third draft, then eventually e d i t o r agreed that okay, you can go ahead. Then, so I finished the work, then、mm-hmm. it applied to the competition. This kind of system. So, e d i t o r has no power and it's a decision, decision power because kind of judge has the power, judge kind of right to this,、uh, decide it, it, let it, did this artist debut or not. First attempt failed, second failed again, but third time, I believe in the third time I won. Oh, wow. That, that makes my debut. Oh, wow. So, how old were you when this happened? 23, around 22 or 3, I believe. Okay, okay. Wow. So, you started when you were 14, your first manga, and you were copying、yeah. that time. And, you know, about like almost eight to nine years later. Right, that's when you finally got your career debut. Wow, that was a very long journey.、Um, you failed a lot, right? Like you said, you joined competitions since you were like 16. You kept going at it, high school, even like in university, you were still doing it. Was there a time when you wanted to give up? No, actually, you know, I'm not really thought about it seriously.、Mm-hmm. And just if I were lucky, that's、mm-hmm. all. And I, my, I say my purpose is not to be in debut. I just wanted to draw. Actually, when it's kind of my last year in university, I was thinking to kind of get a job. I was thinking if I choose the job, it's condition is must to be have the free time.、Mm-hmm. I mean, not work、uh, late night. I mean, not that's a good wage、mm-hmm. or not that's a good position. Just、mm-hmm. like have spare time. Because、mm-hmm. I wanted to draw manga in my spare time.、Wow. So, with the professional or even a m a t u r still I think I, you know, still I keep drawing. Oh, wow. Okay, that's amazing. So, really, like the passion was there. No matter what happened, you still wanted to keep doing manga, even if it wouldn't be like a professional career. How did you feel hearing Izawa Sensei's story? Did she inspire you to continue working on your own manga? Let us know what you think in the comments. In our next video, Izawa Sensei will be giving advice to beginner manga artists.